Aside from leading our event team here at GBTA and other events across the globe, Ali Prejean Smith also volunteers uh, with many organizations, one of which like GBTA Ladders, fostering the development of the next wave of industry leaders. So I want to talk to you a little bit about careers in the travel industry. Is it still a viable option for people that want to get in and explore career opportunities in business travel? I mean, if I said no, <laughs> I would clearly not be in the right place myself. And I, so the answer is yes. Um, I think this is such an exciting industry to work in, in the sense that there is um, a lot of challenges that we face on a regular basis. It gives you that intellectual, um, you know, stim stimuli. And there's also a lot of really cool opportunities with new technologies coming into play, ways to really revolutionize the industry. Um, but beyond that, I think it's a really fulfilling place to work. You know, we connect people to each other, to the world. So um, what more could you ask for out of a job? Um, I think, you know, when you're looking at this industry specifically, what a lot of people don't necessarily know is that there are job opportunities within this that cater to every role, every persona. I mean, we at BCD have um, internships available. I was talking to Floor on our people and culture team. She was telling me there's a IT security internship in Costa Rica. Sounds like a great opportunity. Um, so there's that. There's if you want to be more, you know, customer facing. There's um, agent roles. There's management opportunities. We're in marketing. There's so many, you know, avenues where people can really apply their talents to the business travel space. And that's something I think we as an industry collectively can do more to talk about. I could not agree with you more. No matter what your background is or experience, there's likely a position for you in this large global company we have. Okay, last question. In just a few words, what is your tip or advice for someone wanting to get into the travel industry? Okay, I'm going to get three, okay. just you know, to be difficult. So, um, one, I think. Even though this is a huge global community, it is tight knit, it's close. Uh, never discount who you're meeting, uh, whether that is a competitor, whether that is another kind of supplier partner that you don't currently work with. Our industry is small, it is evolving constantly, there's new partnership opportunities, um, people move around, and uh, you never know who you could be sat next to on a plane. So uh, just make friends and, and foster those relationships regardless of current roles. Uh, the second would be to get outside of your comfort zone. Uh, we work at a TMC, right? Um, and it's really easy for us to just talk to each other all day long, every day. And when we're at these events, I think it's such an incredible opportunity to bring um, that new dynamic, those new ways of thinking, uh, you know, talking to people about what's important to them in their established vertical within the business travel community. Um, and kind of tied to that, and I you know, wouldn't be me if I didn't plug in a program like Ladders, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's getting out, it's putting yourself out there, um, getting involved in the wider business travel community. There's so many fantastic programs that foster that, I think, uh, career growth aspect that also bring in some of those different ways of thinking. The Ladders program is one of them. Uh, there's local chapter associations. There's obviously our Global Business Travel Association here that brings together you know, um, people from all over the world. So get involved is, is the thing I'll leave you with. I just adore you. Uh, such a positive outlook on everything. Thanks so much.